Welcome to Sewing Anastasia, and today we're going to create reusable paper towel. So we totally ran out of paper towel, and there's one piece left. So what I'm going to do is use this last piece of paper towel as a template to create washable, reusable paper towel. And you're probably wondering, how am I going to do that? Well, it's very, very simple. So what you're going to need for supplies is an old towel. It could be a beach towel, it could be a bath towel, it could even be a kitchen towel or a bunch of kitchen towels. So I'm going to be using a big bath towel and then I'm also going to be using two fabrics. I'm making some very glammy paper towels, but I figure if we're going to reuse them and have them around, we might as well have fun with them. So I'm going to be using this gold and pink on the back side of the terry cloth bath towel. So the supplies for this project are very simple. All you're gonna need is a pair of scissors, some matching thread, and then your sewing machine. And we're gonna make reusable paper towels so you don't have to go out and buy them ever again. And you're saving the environment at the same time. So cool. So I've got my cutting mat laid out on the table and I've got my template. Yours could either be your paper towel or a paper pattern that you've made. And I've got my towel here. So I've folded my towel right sides together so I can cut out two at one time. So let's go ahead and make sure it's on your cutting mat. Take your template and lay it down. Make sure you're avoiding the bound edge of the towel here. We don't want that to get caught in the seam or be part of our finished project because that is not flush and is not gonna soak up the water as nice as the rest of it is. So once you have it laid out properly, go ahead and put your weight down on it. Grab your scissors and let's cut it out. So you're gonna need some really nice sharp scissors for this because this is really thick. The terry cloth that I'm using at least is very thick. So we're just gonna cut all the way around the edges. Maybe we can use those for rads. We'll save those, don't throw them out. You could always just serge the edges. Okay, we got them cut out. So if we take them off, they're going to look something like this. But we're not done yet, because we also have to cut out our sparkly fabric. So I'm just gonna do two right now. I'm gonna do one of the pink and one of the gold so you can see them together. So let's go ahead and grab our other fabrics. So now I have my pink sparkly sateen laid out on my cutting mat. And again, I'm going to take my template and lay it on the fabric. And we're going to use a weight on top of it so it does not move. And again, grab your scissors and make sure you're just cutting out one. So we don't need to cut out two right now. It's just one piece of fabric for one piece of terry cloth. I've already went ahead and tested this fabric in the washing machine, so I know it's gonna wear well when I use it for my recyclable, reusable paper towel. Next, you're gonna grab your other fabric and let's cut it out. Now I have my gold fabric laid out. I have my template. I'm gonna go ahead and place that on the fabric. I'm gonna make sure I grab my weight. Make sure you're following your grain lines as always. And let's cut it out. Okay, now we have the gold cut out as well. So now we're gonna have awesome gold and pink reusable paper towels. So now what we need to do is head over to the sewing machine and sew these up. Welcome to my new mini little studio where I will be sewing my new projects here. So today I'm gonna be using the Husqvarna Viking Designer Epic 2. I'm also gonna be using the A foot and 
I've also pulled down the dual feed foot here. So this is going to help us when we're going over this really thick fabric like terry cloth. So you definitely want to engage that. And now what we're going to do is sew a quarter of an inch all the way around, but we're going to leave an opening. So I'm going to leave an opening at the top up here, so I'm going to start at the top. Notice that I'm also sewing on the flat fabric and not the terry cloth for this. When you get to your corners, make sure you leave your needle in and turn. Make sure you back stitch at the end and go ahead and cut. So you'll notice I left an opening right here. So I can go ahead and now I can turn this right side out. Now before you turn it right side out, what you wanna do is grab your scissors and clip the corners. That way our corners are gonna look nice and neat when we turn them. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this right side out. I'm super excited to see how this looks. Kind of makes me want to, you know, clean more because it's going to look so awesome. Let's push out our corners. You just put your hand in there and push them out. We are looking good. Cool. This is going to be one rad piece of recyclable paper towel. I'm so excited to start cleaning some things. So we still have one more step left. What we need to do is top stitch all the way around the edge. That way both of the layers stay together and then it's also going to shut this hole that we've created as well. So let's go ahead and top stitch all the way around the outside of our brand new piece of reusable paper towel. Now I'm ready to do the top stitch, but first what I would like to do is change out our bobbin thread. So I'm going to make the bobbin thread white so that way it matches the white terry cloth. So go ahead and switch your bobbin to match your terry cloth fabric on the bottom. Because we're going to be sewing on the flat side of the fabric and leave the terry cloth face down. So now that we have our bobbin in, just go ahead, stick your fabric in there, and we're going to do a top stitch all the way around. When you get to the corner, make sure you leave your needle in, lift up your foot, and then turn. Also, make sure when you get to the hole that we left here when we turned it right side out, make sure those edges are turned under for your seam allowance and sew right over that. When you get to the very end, make sure you back stitch and then cut. Voila! Now we have our finished reusable piece of paper towel. No more needing to go to the grocery store to buy paper towel. Use it and wash it. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing to the gold one that I cut out. So let's do it! We did it! Now we also have a gold piece of reusable paper towel. Thanks so much for watching Sew Anastasia today. I hope you had fun sewing reusable paper towel with me. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And as always, have fun sewing! <laughs>